Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, World of Reading. My name is Celeste, and today I'm going to be doing Do I Trust These People's Recommendations? Episode 3. What was that? Okay, episode 3. I just finished episode 2, like, just finished it. I, I updated you, like, before this clip. <laughs> which is exciting uh, and if you want to see that I will leave the link of that last video last two videos down below uh, if you want to catch up first so right now oh, again I forgot my book or my um, where I have all the favorites of the names in the other room yay again I did it in the last episode too but I do have my little Muck with all the names. They're not a lot of names, but so yeah, they're not a lot of names yet. But if you want to join in and you haven't yet, please leave your um handle, whatever handle you have, Twitter, BookTube, Instagram, blog, whatever. If you have something with books, leave that handle in below. Plus six of your favorites, and I'll put your name in this mug, and maybe in future I will pick your name. So yay, okay, so now I'm gonna be picking, I can't see anything, you know, so I'm gonna be picking a name and... <laughs> okay, 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 I've, I've picked a name, I've picked a name, <laughs> I'm just, I'm really nervous, <laughs> it's so weird, okay, ooh, I've picked Claire from Books with Claire, I think you can see that, yay, it says right way around, I think so. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna like go pick uh, up my notebook in the other room and uh, we'll see what Claire's favorite books are. Okay, so uh, guys, I have my notebook here. Uh, I have to like put a big extra Lawrence name because I've done it already. But okay, Claire's favorite books are A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, Dead Note Volume 1, The Handsmaid Tale, Spear, Spear and Found Parts. Is that right? I don't know. Spear and Found Parts by Sarah Maria Griffin, The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisburg, and Sourdough by Robin Sloan. Okay, so with this one, I don't know what I want to read yet. Um, I know Dark Shade of Magic is available in audiobook for me, but not the other two. So I don't know if I want to pick that up yet. Uh, I really want to read The Handsmaid Hill, but we'll see if I'll do that. It's, it's, I don't know. We'll see what, like, what the costs are for me and I'll pick it up. That note is, I think I'm going to pick that note up if it's available online somewhere. Um, and the rest, Spear and Found Parts, The Sydney Dark's Daughter, and Sourdough, I don't really know much about, so I don't know if I will pick these up. I don't know, I will go look it up, and you will see in the next clip or clips what books I'm gonna be picking up for her. But I am actually really, really excited for some of these. I think. This one is gonna be books I would never pick up by myself, I think. Uh, maybe the Handsmaid's Tale, but not the rest. So, we'll see what I'm gonna pick up with this one. <laughs> and you will see that later on. So, um, until a minute. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's a read the first book I needed to read for Claire's favorite books. Of this month, uh, of of her, not this month. A Claire's favorite book. So I've read that note by it's a Kumi Oba. I give this three point five. So it's not my favorite. I don't know. I'm really confused with this one because I really, really enjoyed it, but I'm also confused. I really, really want to continue with this one. But I'm also very confused in my thoughts than this one because I liked it, but it went by so fast and I couldn't really wrap up my my mind on it, you know. I don't really like the main character. I don't even think he's likable. He's supposed to be likable. Uh, I kind of enjoy the sarcasm of the monster sometimes. 
and I can't wait, like, I know more characters are going to be introduced in the rest of the series, so I can't wait for that. Um, I do read them on ebook, so that may, like, lessen my enjoyment a bit more. But we'll see. Uh, I can't wait to continue. I'm really, really glad I read it because I'm really, really apprehensive of reading this, this, uh, this manga. I just really, really hesitant and I just... Like, I won't like it, I won't like it, I won't like it. I tried this as well in London. I couldn't get after, like, the, the art style. And I tried it again and I loved it. But I'm also very confused on this one. So we'll see what I'm going to think of that one. Um, so I have two audiobooks left for Claire. This Spare and Found Pods. Spare and Found Body Pods. It's the one I can't remember. They're like audiobooks, so I don't own any physical ones for Claire this month. But okay. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, but if I read, I will update you when I read another one of her favorites. So I'll see you guys hopefully soon. So, guys, I finished the Sanita Soto by Mal. Melissa Salisbury. Uh, wait, let me check for the name one more time because I can't remember. Yeah, the signature is daughter by Melinda Salisbury, not Melissa. Uh, so this was one of Claire's favorites, and I gave it three stars. I enjoyed my time with it. I really did enjoy my time with it. Oops, but I. I don't really care. I don't really want to continue because I just don't care, you know, like when you have that when you just you finish your book, you liked it, but you didn't have any special feelings for it. That is what I have with this one. It's not a bad book at all. Um I liked listening to it, I like my experience with it, but in the end I don't really care about what happens to the characters in the next books and everything. That one was one dead book. And that's really weird because I don't know. Just I hope I like the next one more. Uh we'll see. I, I will see when I'm gonna read that. I have a little bit of the month left. Um that's also an audiobook, so I won't personally own any of these books, which I take upset before, but okay. Um but like it's not been a bad experience yet. But it ha I haven't found a new favorite of mine yet. It is also sad. But we'll see. Maybe the next one will be a new favorite of mine. And I hope it will be soon. I will be updating you again. Okay, so guys, I finished the last book I needed to read for Claire's favorite. So I read and finished Spiff and Foam Pods by Sarah Maria Griffin. And I really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. I... I was really impressed by this book. It's um warnings. It's about a pandemic pandemic. It's a quite a different one from what we're going through right now with COVID. But you know, it's about the aftermath of an pandemic. And in this pandemic, people lost limbs, eyes, whatever. And the main character, I can't remember her name right now. Uh her heart stopped working, so what her heart is robotic, so she hears it picking up her heart very loud because I like people like limbs are replaced by mechanics. Uh, and the father of the main character is the one who created these kind of machines for limbs, you know. And she, in this town, you have to make a contribution into, uh, at a certain age, and um, this has to be enough to help create a better community and main character is worrying about her contribution because she doesn't know yet what she's gonna do and she has a lot to live up with with her father and her mom who died when she was young but she kind of built started a giant statue they're still working on i think that's what it is and it was really interesting i really really enjoyed my time with this i really wanted to know what's happening and 
yeah, I'm just glad I read this one. I'm really, really glad I read this one. So, what do I trust Claire's recommendations? Yes, I do, even though most of them weren't like favorite. I read that note volume one, which I give 3.5 stars. Um, I loved it. I will continue with the series soon, uh, but I'm very confused on that book. Really, really confused. Then I read Spare and Found Parks by Sarah Maria Griffin, which I give full stars, which is really good. And then I listened to the audiobook of The Sydney to Slaughter by Melinda Salisbury, which I didn't like as much. I don't remember if I gave it two or three. So wait, let me have a look. I think I have the rating here. I give it three stars, but I didn't really enjoy this one much and I don't think I will continue with the series. So yes, I would trust Claire's recommendations, but not as much as other people, you know? Like, I really like most of her favorites because, um, I don't know, I haven't read any other one. But I do really trust her on my connections. I just don't think they will be my favorites, you know? They wrote good books, but I don't think it will be my favorites. You get what I mean? I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, which took me a month to film. It's good. Um, I at least enjoyed all the books I read for this video. Um, if you haven't, I don't know if you've said it already, but if you haven't joined yet in this video, um, or you haven't put your name in yet, you can still do that. Leave your links to whatever site you, book site you have. It can be Twitter, um, a book blog, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you have, leave a link down below so that I can send people to you. I will leave Claire's YouTube video, YouTube channel link down below. Um, and six of your favorites so I can like pick a few that are available for me because not every book is available for me. And sometimes I've read a few books and I don't want to reread anything for this video or the series. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really glad with these this big and okay, so leave me an emoji of I don't know. It's sourdough. It, it bread. Bread because one of Claire's favorite is sourdough. I haven't I didn't read that because it wasn't available for me. But leave me a bread emoji down below if you have made it so far. And if you are down below there anyway and you aren't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and that little bell down there if you want to see more of my face. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.